All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on Volsky of Foundry. We're going to try to play Cassia today. The friendly team is part of Viewer Game Tuesday. So we have Cassia, Sylvanas, Varian, Uther, and Abathur. The enemy team, Mephisto, Lucio, Arphus, Abathur, and Tassadar. We're going to try a build that I saw on Hero's Profile, but I don't know really how it's going to work. So we're going to go charge strikes to level 1, gain 50% attack speed. Every third basic attack deals 50% bonus damage and bounces to nearby enemy heroes. Always loved this, but I used it when it was an activatable. Cassia has really slow, or really uh, short range auto attacks. So it can be a little hard to get in melee range sometimes. Ooh, just miss, just miss, just miss. We're going to try to make the best of it. Also, you have to be really active with landing your skill shots while you're microing your auto attacks, which can be very, very challenging. But at the start of the game, we already dealt 5,000 damage, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to play really aggressive. I'm going to make these guys fucking respect me, okay? I'm going to be running at them nonstop, missing cues nonstop. As a result, I'm also never going to be looking at my mini-map ever, unfortunately. <laughs> this has taken all of my attention so far. Damn, I tried to engage, couldn't do it. Just keep swinging. The Abathur certainly doesn't help. I don't know how every game has to have an Abathur in it now. I don't know why that is. But that's definitely what it seems like. Whoop, we're dead. Good root, good root, good root. What was our damage? 10,000 in one minute and 43 seconds. Okay. Okay. Not bad. The enemy team, however, does have four kills to our zero. They are half a level ahead of us right now, and they do have that talent to your advantage. Varian soaking bottom, Abathur soaking top. We... Probably just gonna go get this, honestly, to get ready for the objective. Feels good to be doing Viewer Game Tuesdays again. It feels so good to be getting back into our normal routine. I really appreciate not only you guys here live on Twitch, but those of you that potentially watch this match on YouTube, I really do appreciate you guys. Okay, so I should be in constant movement for this shit so I could stack up my armor, right? Yes, okay. Now this is where it starts to deviate for me. This is where I start to think things are weird. We're gonna get play to the whale for regeneration no matter where we go. Normally I would get ring of leech. Wow, that's a ton of healing. Well, it's like a region globe all the time. Could be it. I got a globe. Bye, bud. I caught him. Did I keep my ring of the leech up the whole time? I f totally forgot about her passive. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. I didn't pick up the turret. I hope someone got it. When did I get so bad at this game? Okay, I think Varian got it. I'm just really intimidated by Arthas while I'm playing Cassia, I gotta be honest. And I just lost all of my armor, so we're gonna try to get that back just by moving. Big Finn! Big Finn! Big Finn! Let's go! Move, get your armor, get your armor, get your armor, get your armor, we're back. I probably could have killed him there if I fended. Got Arthas. I need to pick a talent. I know. We're going to do Surge of Light, and I'm going to remember to press my trade button. <laughs> Whether or not I actually do that remains to be seen. I slammed it there, just for the record. I was slamming it. Just out of range. I do have a sip. Okay. 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 
Okay. I feel like I'm in a little over my depth here. But I'm trying really hard to make up for it with decent playmaking. And just being hyper fucking aggressive all of the time. Got him! There we go! I did play to the whale. We're kiting, we're kiting, we're kiting. Oh my god, that heal is insane. Thank you, Uther. Your sacrifice was seen. Thank you. I don't think I can help with this, though. I think this is a little past me. And if I go in now, I'm just souring Uther's memory <laughs> by wasting his sacrifice. Uh, let's fend this. Could have been a little bit better with that blind duration. We can boom, play to the whale. I'm just trying to get level 10 before this team. That would be super duper helpful. They have been playing really grouped up and they do have Lucio from melee. So maybe we will go lightning ball this game. Uh, let's make sure we go this way. We are low on mana, but that's not the end of the world. Our auto attacks are still pretty good. Should have blinded first before I went in, but didn't matter. We were interrupted right away. And I probably have to back now. On fork. So I do like Valkyrie for pulling people out of position. We could also set it up pretty good to fuck over Mephisto, I think. Maybe we do that and just fuck over Mephisto. <laughs> All right, I'm in. They are outnumbered, but they're pushing these guys in like there's no fucking tomorrow. The Abathur copy is coming out. Sylvanas being forced to retreat, but the walls, the double Tassadar walls. I'm way too far for it. Hey, traded though, traded, traded, traded. Nice damage on Tassadar here if they can follow up. Very close. If we can get a taunt, he's dead. Uh! I didn't know he teleported. We're going to be back up in just six seconds. Going to try to make my way down the middle. We do have avoidance ready to go. What is that called? Play the whale? Surge of light? That's what it's called. Surge of light. I called it the wrong thing earlier. Sylvanas re-engaging. Shit ton of damage on Tassadar is going to bring him down. Here we go. Here we go. We force, we force the teleport. We force the teleport. Fuck. Rude, 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 rude. Well, we did force the teleport. We did do that. That thing we said we were gonna do, we did do it. I was just gonna try to catch him with the fucking, with the grab on the other side. Uh, we don't know if anyone's rotating on me, so I'm pretty scared here. Abathur just showed top. Get fucked. All right, that's exactly why I picked that ult, and it fucking worked out perfectly. I was hoping I still knew his teleporter time and the activation time of my ult, and it looks like I knew it well enough. <laughs> What's the real test to seeing if we can fucking do that again? Was it a one-off? Dude, fending is really fun for a lane clear. Is fend build still a thing? Okay, we went trade again. This is another weird departure that I wouldn't do in the past. It does allow us to instantly mount though, which can actually be pretty hilarious for avoiding ganks or just walking away from this guy. I think you may need to stop trying to trade me, my dude. I don't think it's working out for you. I think someone came back a little mad. And then I did the exact same fucking thing to him. Oh no. His someone might be a little angry. All right, we're soaking. They are taking middle right now. Arthas already up here. I'm just trying to stay moving for my trait. Our new talent, uh, I think gives me increased movement speed if I have avoidance up. So actually really, really good for kiting away from Arthas. I actually do think that was a good pickup. 
Okay, with her. If we want to go back in, let's do it, my dude. All right, Uther, please save me. <laughs> I want to help. I want to help. Way too far. <sighs> keep healing, keep healing, keep healing. I almost wish I was Q-build. Just poke at these guys rather than committing that hard. It was so sketchy. Shit, that hit me. What? We gotta get on it, boys. If we're doing it, we gotta do it now. <clears throat> Second late. I got blown the fuck up. Yeah, just because I have that bonus armor doesn't mean that I'm like a bruiser, right? I still gotta play pretty cautious. It's just that uh, no one was really moving in, and I wanted to try to contest the thing. Uh, the objective pushing top well, actually looks like it's getting melted pretty fast. It still might be able to get the building down, depending on how they use their abilities. But yeah, they're just getting fucked. What's going on down here? A good old-fashioned slug standoff. Uh, let's try to hit 16 pretty quick. There we go. If we could fight now, now would be a great time to fight if we could push in for something. But I think the entirety of the enemy team disengaged. Uh, we are going to go for Fend. Gain two additional charges of Lightning Fury, and Fend's impact launches a Lightning Bolt towards each nearby enemy hero. Maybe if we do that along with Avoidance, we can get some pretty good burst damage. Maybe. We'll see. I'm going to pick this up this time. Coming down to bottom. And by I'm going to pick it up, what I really meant is I'm going to let him pick it up. Yes, dude! Yes, dude! Let's go! Take theirs, take theirs, take theirs. Wow, I have four charges of this shit now? I also need to remember that when I'm fending, it's locking my avoidance down uh, at the number that it's at. So I can maintain 30 armor even while fending, even though I'm not moving. I really like the instant mount. That feels really good. They are going to try to defend bottom with just Tassadar. We can push this in really fucking hard. I probably can't kill Arthas, though. He counters me pretty well. Oh, the instant dismount. Ooh, gross. There we go. I mean... I love it when a plan comes together. All right, I've been run off. You guys are on your own. I'm sorry. Picking that fucking ult choice for that exact scenario, and it's already gotten three kills. That's perfect. Shove this back into tower. You know, with my instant mount, I could probably fucking soak pretty aggressively. I mean, I know we have an avatar, so that's a little less appealing. But I bet you could double suck with this. Okay, I'm gonna clear this lane and then come down. What I liked about uh, Ring of Leech, rather than this one where we get armor all the time, is it lets you do big ass heals with your um, with your trait when it's actually stacked up and you can use it. The heals are huge if you can blind the target first. Oh, uh, let's see if we can help. I think I got him. Good dodge. I'm just going to go stand on it. You guys keep pushing. 
if you feel like you can. Uh, do we want to get the root, or do we want to ignore armor? Arthas has passive ar physical armor, right? Instantly charge and empower avoidance. Activate to fully charge avoidance and increase the armor value. We'll just get the fucking sirens. Whatever. Currently, Ring of Leech only affects autos anymore. That's pr okay. That's probably why it's not taken. I love catching the live streams, but I know I can always catch up on your top. Best content available. Full stop. Fuck, dude. You're too kind. Okay, so if we hit someone with the Valkyrie, they're going to be silenced. That means Lucio can't bro shield if we grab him, which is a pretty big target now. Uh, Mephisto continues to be a high value target. We got this thing. Anyone want to jump in? The protector is waiting for you. Here we go. I forgot what all of my abilities do. Relearning. May have actually been a decent knockback. If I could have nailed that. Armor for you. We're attacking. We're attacking. We're attacking. Everyone's here. Let's go. Time to walk it the fuck in. Damn, I tried to hit Lucia there. Just off shields for everybody. Oh, he's coming back right here. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm getting out. <laughs> yeah, the last time I feel like I played Cassia was before the uh, rework when I really dedicated time to her. Very different character. I like some of the changes here. Whatever. My life for Iyer, dude. It's worth it for a team wipe. We chillin', we chillin', we chillin'. Oh, they got a mule! Or is that ours? That's ours. GG, boys! Claps all around! The second trade choice when you activate it will gain 60 armor until you stop moving. Oh, shit, really? That would have been really good. I didn't know that. Well played, everyone. I had some hiccups there. We had some speed bumps in that one, but I think we did all right. What was our damage? I, I don't think I looked. Damn self. Damn. All right. So uh, this is what we went for. The Valkyrie didn't have... Let me check again. Uh, I don't think the Valkyrie had very much representation as far as Cassia picks, I mainly picked it because I thought we could really fuck over that Mephisto, which is exactly what we did. Yeah, out of the seven builds listed in the top win rate, uh, only one of them is currently using Valkyrie. But if you use it in the right locations, obviously, like we just did, it's pretty fucking good. Uh, we went for Charge Strikes, Plate of the Whale, Surge of Light, Valkyrie, War Traveler, Static, Electricity, and Imprisoning Light. Ha knowing now that I would get 60 armor, I'd probably uh, get that level 20 uh, uh, trade upgrade. That would seem pretty good. That's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you again soon. Goodbye.